Hey everybody, this is Evangelist Artist Leslie. I'm coming to you again on my YouTube channel. Hello and welcome. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet, can you please do so? Just click the subscribe button as I will be uploading videos weekly, okay? I get a lot of DMs, I get a lot of emails asking me questions. And so I'm gonna be coming on weekly answering the questions that you all submit. If you want to submit a question, please submit it to coachmeladyartist at gmail.com. That's coachmeladyartist at gmail.com. Okay, I'm ready to jump on into the subject today. And the subject today is called, I'm built to be unstuck. I need you to repeat those words after me. I am built to be unstuck. Why are we talking about being unstuck? Because so many today feel that they're in a position where they're stuck. I got three emails that talked about how do I become unstuck? Now, first of all, let me say this to you. I understand, I've been there. I know exactly what it feels like to be stuck. Stuck in what? In a relationship? Yes, I've been there. Stuck in a job? Yes, I've been there. I've done hair for over 25 years. I was stuck in a salon that I didn't want to work in, but I didn't know how to leave. I didn't know how to get rid of the fear to maybe go talk to the owner or to, you know, to shift my clients to a different, um, different salon. Whatever the reason is, we have all kinds of reasons as to why we're stuck. Some of us are stuck in our past. We cannot get past the things that we've been through in our past. We don't want to move into a new relationship because we're stuck on what the last person did to us. We don't want to start a business because of our last business failing. The word stuck simply is what we call when you are trapped in an unideal situation. What situation are you in today that you feel trapped in? You got to make a decision and say, I don't want to be in this situation anymore. You got to make the choice. Nobody else can stand up and make that choice for you. At 49 years old, I can look back countless of times of when I was in a situation and had no clue how to get out of it. So this video is very, very uh, passionate to me and very important because I understand that as humans, we, there's a human nature in us that get what we call stuck in a rut. Well, today, I want you to listen to me and I want you to hear my words because I'm going to give you three ways on how you can get unstuck. And some of it, let me say this, is a mind thing. We got to change our perspective and how we're thinking. Is how you're thinking because of who you're around? Is how you're thinking because you're around people that are not motivating you, that are not inspiring you, so it's causing you to be stuck in a complacent place? But listen, if you get into the Word of God, sometimes you can even be around the wrong people, but if you pick up the Word of God, which is the bread of life, it will give you life. It will cause you to leap out of situations. It will cause you to jump out of situations. So I'm going to give you three things. One of the things for me was this. Whenever I got to a place where I felt stuck or I felt like I couldn't move forward, it was because I needed more word. I needed to increase my faith. I needed to upgrade my thinking. I needed to do something Within me, I couldn't look at the other person as to why I'm around this person or why this person is doing that or why my spouse is doing this or why is my boss doing that or why is my best friend doing that. I had to go inside myself and figure out what is it. And one of the things I figured out, and that's number one, is you need to dig deeper into the Word of God. And I know it sounds all cliche. Oh, everybody want to say, go pray. Everybody want to say, get into the Word. Everybody want to say, you know, uh, call your pastor, call your first lady. But let me tell you something. I have been there and done that, and I know what works. And the first thing I'm going to tell you that work is opening up the Bible opening up the word of God, which is your bread of life. You got to eat the word like you eat food every single day. 
It will give you life. It will sustain you every single day to get through. You cannot live in this world and not have Jesus on your side. And the way you have Jesus on your spot is you got to talk to him every day. And you have to listen to what he's telling you every day through the word of God. So that's number one. It's upgrade your faith and upgrade your deeper connection with the word of God. Number one. Number two is once you get a deeper connection with God, it's going to force you. It's going to push you. It's going to catapult you to make a decision. You got to decide. And my husband always says, anything that ends in I-D-E means it has to die. Okay? Suicide, germicide, homicide. And the word decide means you something has to die. You have to make a decision today to no longer be stuck. So you have to kill every reason that's causing you to be stuck. So decide that you're not going to be stuck anywhere. And the first way you're going to decide is because I'm going to dig deeper into the word of God, which is the bread of life. And it's going to help pull me out of this stuck, out of this trap feeling that I feel. Listen, we all are given a measure of faith by God. All of us. He's given us all the measure of faith. He's no respecter of person. So he's not saying you get this and only you get that much and you get that. He said, I've given you all a mustard seed of faith. It's up to you to upgrade it, right? It's just like if you get an app on your iPhone or on your Android Joy, and it's free. In order to get the extra parts or the better parts of the app, you have to upgrade, right? And you have to pay for it or you will stay at that level and you won't be able to get all the, the great things that that app has to offer. Well, listen, you got to upgrade your faith. You got the mustard seed of faith to already leap out of that thing. So maybe you need to get back in your word so your faith can get stronger. So you can jump and you can leap on into the next thing that God is calling you to do. So number three is change your perspective. A lot of times we have our minds repeating things that are not of God. We're repeating things from our past. We're repeating things that people said to us that wasn't nice. We're repeating things that people did to hurt us. But you got to change your perspective. If somebody hurt you, maybe they hurt you because they were hurting. And so that's how you start to change your perspective. You got to start to think differently. And let me tell you, the word of God will teach you how to think. It says to think on things that are pure. Think on things that are love you. Think, think on things that are grand. Think on things that are great. Think on things that are all about moving forward. It says not, not to look back at the things of the past. To press towards the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Listen, I'm talking to you with this passion because I've been stuck before. I've been trapped before in relationships. I've been trapped in places that I know God has so much higher for me. It's time to get up, bruh. It's time to get up, sis. It's time to get out of that stuck mindset because that's where it starts. It starts in your mind. It starts with changing your perspective. Then you got to get into the word and start to pray and talk to God and tell him to lead you out of the situation. And then you got to kill every single reason that's causing you to be in the situation that you're in. So listen, I pray that this message bless you. If you want to email me, tell me about some areas that you're stuck in. Let's work through this together. Co email me at coach me, Lady Artist Leslie. No, I'm sorry, coach me at Lady Artist at gmail.com. That's coach me at Lady Artist at gmail.com. And we're going to work through this. It doesn't matter. This is not about judgment. This is about helping you work through it. This is about one step at a time, okay? All right. Thank you so much. Listen, subscribe to the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a comment if you did. And I will see you on the next Axe Artist.